It's the 411 on 93 KHJ's on Music Channel 10. John Rayner, Ethan Lake here with uh, Coach June Jones, former coach of the University of Hawaii, and he's now at Southern Methodist University in the, in the great state of Texas. I spent some time in Texas myself, but uh, more importantly, you're here with us. This is a very, very exciting year. This is uh, well, going to be your, uh, your first year at uh, First SMU? year at SMU, yeah. yeah. And uh, this is also an election year. We can talk politics for a sec, but who do you think is going to be the next president? That's a good question. Uh, I think John McCain is going to win. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think that uh, personally that Obama has, you know, done a fantastic job. Uh, you know, he's a perfect politician right now, saying everything correctly. But when it really comes down to uh, to the bottom line, I don't think he is qualified and done enough things to to warrant uh, being president. To be quite honest, I mean, he, you know, I I I I, I just. He's not seasoned enough to be there. And uh, uh, is McCain? I think he's been in it long enough. I think he's uh, gone to war and done uh, made uh, some pretty tough decisions in his life. So, I mean, I just think that in the end that'll weigh out. What do you feel about the the war in Iraq? I mean, it's been going on for a while now. Do you think we should be there? Well, I think it's very uh, uh, unfortunate that... We don't really get to see, I mean, and I know this from, from covering a game, sports game, that the news media does not really cover, uh, and uh, like I'll, rep I'll read a, a recount of the game uh, after it was over, mm -hmm. and things that I said in a press conference and it things that out. I did, and, and I would say it's probably somewhere in the 40 to 50 percent uh, of what I said, you know, accurate. And, so when I look at the news and when I see what's going on, I don't think we get a real well-rounded coverage of, of what's happening. Uh, and I say that because I do see almost every politician that goes over there now is kind of blown away as, as to how good it seems like it is going for those people. And the bottom line is it's a difficult situation to me. I mean, how, how, uh, 7,000 years they've been having wars in that area. And, and is it ever going to end? I Probably not. It's probably going to keep going on and on. But I do know that uh, before we got there, a whole lot of innocent people were slaughtered and killed. And, and uh, you know, it's just unfortunate that, that uh, we are where we are. But I think we have to stay the course now until, until it's over. That's just me. Fair enough. All right. Got uh, you got a little little a little political <laughs> insight there. Didn't expect that with a head football coach. All right, very nice. So uh, you think uh, McCain has what it takes though overall, just in terms of how long he's been in? Uh, a I personally do. I mean, the bottom line is we got one of two choices, you know, Obama or McCain. Did you like Hillary? Um, I would I'd personally. I think Hillary, for as a de as a Democratic candidate, would have stood a better chance. Yeah. personally against uh, McCain because when it really comes down to it she has been involved and she has stood up and she has done some things Do, and it's just then it's a matter of opinion of which one you agree to I don't think the uh, the uh, uh, things with Obama are different in that he to me he's just not qualified to be president do you think uh, Ralph Nader Green Party candidate remember him he said yeah. that uh, some, a part of Obama's appeal was his appeal to white guilt any thoughts on that one way or the other? You know, I don't understand that. Uh, you know, uh, that, that's a, over my head, that question. I, I don't know. I, I don't, you know, I don't think it's a, a racial thing. I mean, it's certainly not with me. Uh, now, is it in, in, you know, other parts of the world mm -hmm. in America? Maybe there's some people that just won't vote because he's a black candidate. I don't, I don't know that uh, for sure, but I'm sure it would happen somewhere. But with me, it just comes, like I said, it just comes down to, I mean, I just don't think he's, you know, done anything. What has he done? You know, what tough decisions has he had to make? You know, uh, and man, sitting in that chair, you got to make some tough calls, you know. You ever meet any U.S. presidents? Yeah. Which ones? Have Jimmy Carter I met, uh, Gerald Ford I met, and uh, George Bush I met. Senior or junior? Uh, both. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. Were you at the White House? Or? I went to the White House as a rookie uh, in 1977 to see Jimmy Carter. Mm -hmm. And then uh, George Bush, when I was with the Falcons in, in uh, his first 1994, both he and his dad were there. And then uh, Gerald Ford I met after he was president. Uh, you know, there, uh, was, there was rumor or talk about you running for governor in Hawaii. And, uh, <laughs> you know, that kind of comes up. But 
you know, you're at SMU and you're saying this might be your last contract. Mm -hmm. Do you have future aspirations of getting into politics? No, absolutely not. <laughs> That's one job I do not want. I can make the tough calls on third and one, fourth and one, all that. And, and uh, you know, to be successful in, in anything, you have to be on the edge and be willing to take calculated risks and do things uh, to be, you know, to be extraordinary. It doesn't matter if it's business, it doesn't matter if it's making decisions as a political, you know, uh, leader. Uh, you can't, you, sometimes you can't just do things that are politically correct. You have to do what's right. And uh, I, don't, I don't like, I, I, it's unfortunate what the media, I think, has done to these candidates' lives, to their, you know, half the, half the presidents prior, prior, prior to probably 1970 could never be president now because of the, the, the scrutinization of their personal lives and everything else. I mean, it wouldn't happen. And these are some of the greatest men in the history of our country that we're talking about. You know, and it's just, I think politics has just, uh, you know, gone south to me.